y'all. Okay, so I needed to come to y'all and talk about Chasing LA. If I was gonna talk to y'all about the shit we do for love, the least I could do was talk to y'all about Chasing LA. Okay, so before we get into that, oh girl, you might you might not want to pull up right there. I'm not gonna honk my horn. To oh, oops, excuse me, guys. Ah! No! No! You saw me trying to get over. Sorry, BR Burns, because I know you don't like when I had the road rage, but bitch, she saw me. Anyway, I want to do a little response to YB's video. Let me put on the seatbelt so I can stop yelling. Ugh, can't even get through my video. Now, my response to YB's video about the unemployment. Bitch, yes. I do see that shit everywhere because I was at the gym the other boy well, yesterday and I saw a big ass now hiring sign. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, there's a shortage of gym people? Like, now, now in the food department, we don't have that problem. I'm not gonna lie and say that we do, bitch. I can go to Whataburger at 2 o'clock in the morning and somebody gonna be flipping the motherfucking patties. It just is what it is because here in Texas, we like to eat, girl. We like to eat. Um. And I just kind of got a promotion, so. Mm, but there are some people that are due promotions. People that I love. Night supervisors that I really, you know, were fear, honey. They need promotions. They need their pay stubs to reflect their promotions. So, um, yeah, we need to get to it. And I think the government, everybody, whoever is paying people needs to get serious about this motherfucking cutoff. Don't keep promising that you're going to cut off the motherfucking unemployment and then keep extending it and extending it and extending it. That's why these motherfuckers don't want to run out and get jobs. If y'all would have cut that shit off in June like y'all said, Motherfuckers will be working right now. Y'all wouldn't have a goddamn shortage. But y'all keep extending it and they keep calling y'all motherfucking bluff. So these hoes gonna be unemployed until September, until that shit run out. And I hope these people ain't living a new life based on this unemployment money because, bitch, your, your paper hour is gonna trickle down, honey. And you're gonna have to make do with what you got. That, that just is what it is. But y'all need to buckle down on that. Just like y'all buckle down on the motherfucking Asian hate, which I think is stupid as fuck, only because, bitch, it took 16 motherfucking Asians getting gunned down for y'all to say, that enough is enough. Bitch, I have lost count of the men, women, and black children getting gunned down, getting treated unfairly in this country, and y'all ain't got shit to protect us. At all. So no ma'am. Yeah, ran me out. Let me like this blunt, bitch. I'm uh, praying for you what I'm going to do. And you got to look out and look out for the Asian. Fuck look out for the Asian. Plus, the Asian people, they know karate. They know Chong Li. Bitch, they know jujitsu. They can protect themselves. Have you ever been hit with a nunchuck before, bitch? I bet you won't motherfucking shoot nobody else down. The fuck? Now, Chase in L.A., um, again, I'm not about to talk about the episode that I just saw. I'm just going to talk about it as a whole. I really want to give my updated opinion on the characters. Let's start with Quan and Poet because he's on my mind. Quan and Poet, I did not like you after season. I mean, season, child, if y'all make it. I did not like you after episode two, but you all right with me now because outside of that little one thing, you ain't really done much. You came to us and you told us the tea that D. Hawkins apparently told you in the storyline he was trying to spin, bitch. Your spoken word is everything. Although, I agree with YB. Bitch, you came to a gay man's event talking about the importance of black women. Yes, a black woman is the reason why he is here. But, bitch, you ain't got no motherfucking poetry to celebrate us. And the plight that we got a motherfucking indoor. Like hot water cornbread, bitch. We too will rise. We need something to celebrate such. And, girl, it just is what it is. Please, give us a piece of spoken word. But other than that, and you know, that, that's really all you've been given. Um, your balls was definitely hanging out in episode two, bitch. I went back and I watched those of your balls. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. We just not finna have balls hanging out, girl. We not finna have dick slips down to the YouTube streets. No. Um... Fly King Eye. I would be lying if I said you didn't give me a mean piece of... 
Okay. I wouldn't be lying if I said you didn't give me a mean piece of Andrew Caldwell. Because, girl, you did. And I can't lie and say that you didn't. You absolutely the fuck did. But it was really the fashions. You wasn't really talking like Andrew Caldwell, but it was the fashions, baby. It was real Bobby Jones gospel. It was real, ooh, eh, and like in your face, real gaudy. Real, like, it looked like you got a hole, but it looked like your apartment is overcrowded with furniture and, and, and decoratives and novelties. Like, it looked like, and battle rap? I think we should start by just questioning rap in general for you because I haven't really heard any of your music and I don't think I want to because after I heard that battle rap you gave about Chasing Reality and it didn't really rhyme, I, I, I girl, I don't know. I thought rap was poetry to a beat. That's what I thought. And most poems rhyme. You are not Maya Angelou. You are not like the Hughes, bitch. You are flocking eyes. So I need your shit to rhyme. You was getting caught up around a little suicide work. Like, it was just little things that gave me, girl, are you really, do I know him? It was little things that really just gave me, do you really rap? Or did you just throw that out there? Like, 40, and she said to say to your husband. But so far, I love the fact, girl, I gotta get out this lane because if you stop one more time. I love the fact that you are giving us work scenes. Miss Thang, go off and let him give us the work scenes. I too was questioning why you was trying to sell lotion and water. Like, um, if it's a body butter, why is he in the shower? Now, me personally, I use YB's body butter religiously. And what I do is I lather it on my wet body after I get out of the shower. So, I shower down, turn the water off, and then I lather it on my body. And as I dry off, it seeps into my pores, bitch, and I am silky smooth. Now, in a sense like that, I can see. But, bitch, water was ra raining down from heaven. Like, it was... It, it, it was raining down like melodies. And I don't understand how he getting the benefit of the body butter. Because it's not a soap. This ain't no sugar scrub, bitch. This is supposed to stay on your skin after. You know, so if he washing it off while he putting it on, what's the point? I did not like that upon meeting everybody, well, before you met everybody and you was getting the rundown, you had already... It seemed like you had already done your research because you knew business that wasn't even being told to you. It was like, I don't know if it was D. Hawkins or something. I think it was D. Hawkins. He was throwing out names and you was giving him their rundown as if you was the one telling him about them. And I'm just like, huh? Like, how do you know all this tea about these girls and you ain't never met them? Make it make sense. And then you get all around the girls and then you like, oh, y'all got so much to say about me. Ah, uh, why y'all done? Girl, you started it. You started it. These girls wouldn't know nothing if they wouldn't have heard that you was running around in the street talking about them. No, ma'am. No, I'm a fucking ma'am. Cause I'm going to slide you to the end Jay Love You were not attacked You were not And if you want to call yourself a woman Let's start by perfecting that tuck Hallelujah Because there have been too many occasions Where I have seen you And I have seen your little, your little member No ma'am That is unbecoming of a lady Did you ever see Alicia's dick? So now, if you gon' go, then motherfucking go. Um, but no, man. But in that scene, you was dead ass wrong. I don't give a fuck what Andre was telling you. If he stood up, he stood up in a a threatening manner, but he wasn't threatening you. If you felt like that was a threat, you retaliate by throwing a drink in somebody's face, you get the hell out of Dodge. Haven't you been jumped before? Bitch, no ma'am. You should know what to do when in the face of adversity. So I don't understand why in this moment you didn't take heed and say, you know what, let me remove myself. This bitch didn't threaten to put me out of his goddamn establishment. Well, not his establishment, but his little party twice. And I just felt threatened by him. Let me motherfucking remove myself. But you thought you was really badass and you wanted to meet that threat with an action. And then want to turn around, oh my God, I'm a trans woman. Hey, you just jumped me. No, ma'am. And Alicia, 
I'm not with YB on this at all. He understood your plight and why you was crying bloody tears. I did not. First of all, I didn't understand how you was crying in one minute and then in the next minute you was mad as hell and then in the third minute you went back to crying. What in the drunken bipolar order is going on here? And two, she started it. And all this person did was pull off her wig. You can't say she was jumped by a man because Fran is non-binary, bitch. He don't identify with no gender. So that was a, a, a person, place, or thing. Okay? The best we can describe Fran at this point is as a noun. Period. A noun picked up the chair. Not no man. A man pulled off the wig. And rightfully so, bitch. You throw a hefty motherfucking drink in my face, bitch. You better be glad that all that came off was your motherfucking wig. And then you walk outside. Uh, nothing. I'm fine. I'm fine. Girl, please. Go get your unit, first of all. Don't don't brush her shit. Look who her off when she said, do you want me to go get your wig? No. We want you to go get the wig. Because you will not end this scene in these motherfucking... Girl, no ma'am. No ma'am. I understand that the girls do the cornrows as a protective style, but you look like motherfucking buckwheat. We is not about to pull this motherfucking shit on the goddamn YouTube streets. No, ma'am. Go back and get your mother... Send for your wig. If you have to. Who else can I get into before I get into the main ones? Andre. Uh, and this is coming from somebody who is loud as fuck. You are too loud. You are too motherfucking loud. All the time. If every time I see you, veins are popping out your motherfucking throat. Slow down. Because you are moving way too fast, baby. You are giving way too much. And like Rodney, the voice that you... But you're not that girl. Neither is flocking I. Y'all don't have... She has got the look. Y'all don't. So stop trying to act like you, you do. I'm not saying don't walk in your fabulosity, bitch. But you cannot place yourself here if you are just ground level with everybody else. Yes, you are working. Yes, you are moving and grooving. But if the biggest names on your clientele list is April Jones and Amina Butterfly, shut the fuck up. Friend, baby, you lost me calling yourself non-binary and you giving all of a gay man. And you get offended when people say you look like a man. I've never seen you in a dress. I've never seen you in heels. If you wear makeup, it's a very natural beat. I've never seen you in lashes or I, I've never seen you in colorful makeup. That hair stays in a in, in a in a in a mean Ellen DeGeneres fashion, bitch. I think you started off telling the, the beautician, I wanna look like Nia Long. I wanna look like Jada Pinky. And you got up looking like Gary Owens. Like it, it just did not work for you. And you just need to accept the fact, like, girl, like, just like Sam Smith. Baby, you can't be non-binary if the only place you don't grow hair is your eyeballs. No, ma'am. This is not PCOS, baby. You are a hairy-ass man. Deal with it. Wear your heels, wear your dresses, do your thing. But let's call, I, I'm with Alicia on this. Let's call the spade a spade. You look like a man. Y'all can try to clock Alicia and, yes, we can tell that she's a trans woman, whatever. But she gives female when you look at her. Despite what her ID says, she has titties, she's wearing a dress, she has a wig on, stop doing the low hair. The, the low, short, no. Mm -mm. You ain't got the face. You, she's got the look. You don't. I, no. You look much better with longer hair. You look very, even a bob. So they call you bob. Like, yes, ma'am. I love the bob. I love the curls. I, I would love a high pony with it just like, just giving what it came to give. But you are not Tony Braxton. So don't do that. Do not. And I hope I'm not missing anybody because I'm going to tie this up with D. Hawkins and Jeremy. Y'all situation was real unfortunate, but it didn't have to be what y'all made it out to be. Like, it really wasn't that serious, y'all. Like, y'all were really trying to turn this into a big deal. Jeremy, why are you mad? Are you mad because people know that you and D. Hawkins were talking? Or were you mad because he was posting pictures that were suggestive on his Instagram slash OnlyFans? Because at this point... Instagram, Twitter, and OnlyFans are pretty much the same thing. 
but what what was the issue? And if that was the issue, girl, slow down because you're moving way too fast because your porn did slide across my desk. Now, yeah, you owned up to it, but bitch, I hadn't seen it. I saw it. And what I saw was much more than what I saw of D. Hawkins. So, girl, I'm not understanding why you so pressed about the content he putting out versus the content you have put out. That, that That's not making no sense. And I think that if y'all just kind of take away the sensationalism of this show and realize y'all really don't have a problem, y'all will probably be a cute-ass couple. I would have loved to see... The, and why didn't you want people to know about this in the first place? Because it seemed like they already did. Throughout the show, it was sprinkles of, bitch, we know what the fuck is going on. We just gonna tease y'all about it. Neither one of y'all said anything about it, but, you know, it was what it was. They they definitely, you know, said they were ones and their twos. And y'all heard it. Y'all caught it. Y'all just didn't throw it back. Y'all went shopping, bitch. But yeah, I think I covered everybody. All in all, I, I really, I watch it. Um, If y'all really want to know why I don't review it, it was the first two episodes for me. It was just way too much. It felt like I was doing way too much just to get the look. And y'all were missing the mark greatly. Y'all were offending cultures of people. And y'all just wanted to make it okay. And right when I became, eh, maybe I'm finna give y'all a review this week. That's when production started the fuck shit. And I was just like, really? Like, really be say, yeah, we gonna tune in. We're going to tune in because we want the tea, but girl, the cast members ain't even doing this. They going live after the show. They doing their reviews. They doing their ones. That I've never seen one, so I don't know what the content is about, but they're on a more professional level than y'all are, and y'all hired them. What the fuck? No, ma'am. No spam. No turkey, and we are all out. You know what? I'm going to stop saying we all out of ham because ham is my, my favorite out of all of that. And I, I don't want to be all out of hand. But we ain't giving out no ham. So no ma'am. No spam. No turkey. And you gets no ham. I like that better. Girl, uh-uh. Figure it out. But I know people have been wanting my thoughts on it. I've been away for literally four weeks. So I know y'all are like, where the fuck is cat? Um, I'm here, y'all. It's just, I got a promotion at my job, so I'm a lot busier than I was. And life is just happening for me. It really is, and I I need it. No, I'm not going to say I need it to slow down. I need to catch up. And I will. I, I'm going to get better, but, girl, I'm doing this at my leisure. I love y'all, but mama got to fill her cup before she start pouring into yours. Hallelujah. Love y'all. Make sure y'all are liking, commenting, subscribing, and that the notifications are on. Same place, same time.